Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a circle given the radius or diameter. So we'll go through one example of each, starting with a circle with a given radius. Remember, area is the amount of space a two-dimensional or flat figure takes up, and we measure area in square units. So how many square units does a given figure take up? Or you can think of it as how many square units to cover the given figure. Now the formula we use for the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. So pi times the radius squared. So we do need to be familiar with both diameter and radius when we work with circles. Diameter is the distance all the way across a circle. So it's a line segment that connects two points on the circle and it has to go through the center. And then the radius is half the diameter. So it goes from the center to any point on the circle. And then lastly, before we get into our example, is pi, which is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Pi is a constant, so it's the same for all circles. Now pi is irrational. It goes on forever. So we are going to use an approximate or rounded version of pi, 3.14. With that being said, let's jump into our example where we have a circle with a radius of 9 centimeters. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is write out the formula for the area of a circle. So area equals pi r squared. Then I'm going to plug in the radius. So area equals pi times the radius, which is nine centimeters squared. After that, let's do nine squared, which means nine times nine not nine times two, that's a common mistake. So remember, nine squared, when you square a number, that means multiply that number by itself. So nine squared means nine times nine, which is 81. So we end up with pi times 81. Now we can rewrite this as area equals 81 pi. One way to write the area of a circle is to write it in terms of pi, meaning we can write our number in front of the pi symbol and put our unit of measure, which is centimeters. And when working with area, it's going to be square units. So we have area equals 81 pi square centimeters. So again, one way to write our answer is in terms of pi. So we have our number and then our pi symbol followed by the unit of measure squared. Now another way we can do this is to use an approximate version of pi. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to use 3.14. So pi is approximately 3.14. So that squiggly equal sign there, that means an approximate value, unlike an equal sign, which means an exact value. So something to keep in mind when you see that. So let's go through our process here, and we're going to start by writing out our formula. So area equals pi r squared. Next, let's plug everything in. So we have area is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol since we are using an approximate version of pi. So 3.14 that we're using for pi times our radius of nine centimeters squared. So nine squared is going to give us, well, we have 3.14 and nine squared equals 81. So we end up with 3.14 times 81. And that's going to give us an approximate area of 254 and 34 hundredths square centimeters. And again, that's an approximate area because we used an approximate version of pi. 
So that gave us an approximate area there in decimal form in comparison to this area over here, which we wrote in terms of pi. So there's how we calculate the area of a circle given the radius. Let's move on to finding the area given the diameter. For this example, we have a circle with a given diameter of 12 feet. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is write out the formula for the area of a circle. So area equals pi r squared. Next, we can plug in our radius. So area equals pi times. Now we are given the diameter, so we need to divide that diameter by two to get the radius, because remember, the radius is half of the diameter. 12 divided by two gives us a radius of six feet. Let's plug that in, and that's going to give us six squared. Now six squared, that means six times six, not six times two. When we square a number, we multiply that number by itself. So let's do six squared, which gives us six times six, which equals 36. So we end up with pi times 36. Now remember, just like in our first example, one way to write our area is to write it in terms of pi. And again, that means we can write our number in front of the pi symbol and then put our unit of measure. So we can put 36 pi, and this is square feet for our unit of measure. So that's one way we can write out our area of that circle. Another option, we can use an approximate rounded version of pi. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to use 3.14. So we can use this to get an approximate area of this circle in decimal form. So again, we're going to use pi is approximately 3.14. Let's write out our formula, which is area equals pi r squared, and then we can plug in. So area is approximately, I'm going to use the approximate symbol there, because again, we're using an approximate version of pi, so we are going to get an approximate area. Let's plug in 3.14, and then multiply by our radius, which is six squared. And now we can calculate here, let's do six squared. So 3.14 times six squared, which equals 36. And now let's multiply. So 3.14 times 36 gives us an approximate area of 113 and 4 hundredths. And this is square feet. So that is an approximate area of that circle. So there you have it. There's how you calculate the area of a circle. Use the formula area equals pi r squared. Then we can plug in our radius and square it, and then go from there as far as how we would like to write out our area. We can write it in terms of pi, or we can use an approximate version of pi to get an approximate area in decimal form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.